Psalms 104. Since we're all together, I want y'all to join me as we go. Amen? Amen. Come and go with me.
Shadow me.
loving God for allowing us to celebrate the 12 years of service that we are making today at our church, the Resurrection Baptist Church. All right. All right. And I'm so proud and so happy to be here today. We want to give God the glory of allowing us to congregate here today to share this wonderful day. Thank you to each and every one of you for finding time to come in and join us on this day. May God bless you abundantly. Also, I would like to thank the Resurrection Church family. Welcome to Pastor Bishop Lyons, First Lady Lyons. I saw her. Beautiful lady. And the entire Greater St. Mary's Church to our anniversary celebration. Thank you so much.
wrap this afternoon. That's the celebration. Nobody but Jesus. I was gonna say you you, you gonna use your own cord? Oh, the, the you know, I was gonna say yes, yeah, it's, it's right down the floor. Oh, you got the Marcus, baby. Right. <laughs> B three. B three. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So when I get by myself, sometimes I just want to tell God. I say, thank you. Thank you. I tell him, thank you.
A meeting was held at Deacon James Buckingham home at 1601 Upton Avenue. In attendance were Deacon Charles Gibbons, Deacon Leo Walton, Deacon Earl Buckingham, Deacon James Buckingham Jr., and Reverend Carter. Reverend Carter was asked about birthing the church of his own, where he would be the pastor and they would be his officers. Reverend Carter, after finding out the nature of the meeting, prayed and with the blessings of God and through the Holy Spirit, he accepted the calling and his new assignment to be the pastor. The first church service of resurrection was held on March 7, 2010. They were to be held at the Ramada Inn at 3536 Secor Avenue, Toledo, Ohio, with services starting at 11 a.m. On June 1, 2010, God then blessed us to be able to lease a new building at 1504 Nebraska Avenue, Toledo, Ohio. During this period, we were blessed with many, many members, new members. When pastor and the officer's leadership, with pastor and the officer's leadership through the grace of God, we were able to merge with the wonderful members of Family Church Without Walls, uniting as one church together called Resurrection holding our first service at then location, 15, 1402 Indiana Avenue, on Palm Sunday, April 1st, 2012. During the next nine years, God has since blessed resurrection with two associate ministers, Minister Leo Walton and Minister Melvin Earl Buckingham. We have also attained ownership of all the land across the street. We fed the community, gave out coats, and things in need to the local community. Pastor even became an important part of the Junction Street Coalition. Through our members' financial sacrifice and dedication, God has seen fit to lead us into a new journey with the purchase of our new location, right. 3360 Nebraska Avenue. Yeah. Along with the added <laughs> along with the added soccer field, we look forward to greater things wow. happening at this location with the ministry, as well as the community. We praise God for his favor and his anointing. We realize that if we continue to trust in God, we will not fail and be able to affect and change lives for Christ. We look forward to the future and the possibilities that God has in store for our church. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Isaiah 40 and 31.
meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. Now, God, I pray that you will preach through me to your people. Yes, Lord God. For you know what we need much more than we know ourselves. Yes. Preach, God, that hell will be horrified. Yes. Uh, preach, God, that yes, heaven will be glorified. Yes. Preach, God, that some sinner man, boy, woman, or girl will begin to cry out, what must I do to be saved? Preach, God, that someone who is in a weakened state may be able to hold on to your word and come from a dark place to you as marvelous light. Once again, it is in your name, that name that still is above every name, where every knee still must bow, and every tongue must confess that you are Lord. Amen. Amen. How many of you believe God today? Yeah. Oh, you didn't clap like you believed it. You <laughs> clap like it was a bill collected for all that.
in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. You may be seated. They were very dry. I just want to share with you from this subject today, looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. It was only a short time ago I went with my wife to pick up some items and these were items that would enhance her existing beauty. I was just looking around at all of the different heads in the place. You looked at them from one direction. It had this kind of effect on your visual aptitude. And if you would look at it from another way, it would cause you to raise your Baptist finger with a question. So sometimes when we look at things, we come to a conclusion to commit and submit to believe our lying eyes. Hello! <laughs> that can be a terrible mistake. For all that glitters is not gold. Some of us that have been blessed with a, an abundance of melanoma, we look like we are African Americans. But it depends upon where you are. I've been looking at the TV for a few days with the war and some of those individuals are very increased in dark fire. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Well, yeah. It looks like the palms of the hands are even black. Mm -hmm. So I know they're not from the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But they got there and set up housekeeping. Well, amen and have now found themselves in a pickle with a president demon that's in another location because the one that is here in the United States is resting. <laughs> so as I look at this text today, I spent some time looking at your theme and I spent some time looking at this text where there is a valley that is filled with bones and a couple of sticks that appears to not have any life at all. Yes, right. They are. They've been there so long without movement. 
without blood running through their veins. Yes, sir. The bones are bleached and they are dry. And here is a preacher that the Lord called him and said, Prophesy to these bones. These bones, these bones are many, but I need you to prophesy to these bones. And says unto him, says, Can these bones live? And the preacher answered and said, only you know, Lord, I, I don't know. But this is a sight that I have not ever seen before. Only you know it. And the Lord responded this wise. Again, prophesy, preach upon these bones. And if you have paid any attention when you go to the doctor's office at the physical anatomy signs, it shows muscles. It shows how the body is put together. Then it will have breakouts of all of the functioning parts and how they are to interact with each other. Yes, sir. Well, there are over 900 sinews and tendons and ligaments and cartilages in the human body. Those of you that are medically enhanced and you're in that profession, you know that the body is complicated and only an all-wise God well, can put it together. Right, 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 right. For these bones are the residue of an action that took place in Genesis where the Lord looked into the dust and began to form man with the dust of the ground. And in that dust, the dust stood still and allowed the Lord to put bones veins and then cover them with skin and fill the veins with blood yet the dust never moved. The dust stayed in its place as it was commanded by God to do. And once he had completed the man in his own image he reached over to his nostrils, the two holes that stand on his head that some of us have an abundance of and some of us do not. And he blew into his nostrils the breath of life, yet the dust never moved. The dust stayed in its place and the blood kept flowing and it got to the right station at the right time uh -huh. so that when the breath of God met up with blood, blood and water began to mix and the heart took on its assignment, lungs took on their assignments and muscles began to react to sinews and the skin tightened up and held the dust and turned the dust into flesh and this man stayed in his place, waiting for his next assignment. And yet, 
Now we find because of evil thoughts and vicious maneuvering of man that God had created in his own image, now there's a valley that is filled with death, filled with men that had died in a fight. Yes, sir. And, and, and the preacher is there that has been assigned to put life into dead bones. God does not call the equipped. He equips the call to the assignment. So the preacher realizes that he does not have enough authority to cause these bones to move. So he responds to his master and says, Lord, you knoweth all things. God says, preach, because in God's word there is life. In God's word there is truth and we are to believe and walk as if it's already done that we can do all things Amen. through Christ who strengthens us. Yes. For the Lord is our way in and our way out. Yes. Somebody just sung a few minutes ago, he's our everything. Yes. Well, I don't intend to hold you long for I know you got some things to do because Equalizer comes on at eight. <laughs> but I need you to know it was just a dozen years ago that a meeting took place in a house. All right, all right. And a preacher, a pastor, was called that God had sent. While he was kicking and screaming about whether I want to do it or not, I don't know whether I want to do this or not, uh, uh, who I'm dealing with and what I'm dealing with, a lot of don't know in the room, I don't know whether I want to do this or not. God says, go. God says, do. God says, preach to these bones. Amen. And as the preacher went forward and begun to be equipped by God, one step led to another some days working from can to can, and some days working with uh, lips, and some days working with heads down and heavy hearts. Yeah. But then uh, one, day, one day, the sun began to shine because God has promised behind every dark cloud, All right. there All right. is a silver lining. Uh, God has already promised you, Pastor, that uh, he can do anything but fail. He, there is no failure yeah, yeah, yeah. in God. Well, one bank said no, another one said yes. Where one person said, I don't want it, another one said, I'll go, send me. Where another one said, I'm not going, one said, well, you said the house, I'll go. Ah, it's all right, because God is still in the blessing business. God can take a little last lunch with a few fish and just a, a little bit of this and he can take a cat head and turn it into a whole loaf and he took just the lad's lunch and fed 5,000 men and women and children and left some on the side. Uh, I believe he had some neck bones and pork chops out there. Oh, some of those folks were Negroes and some of those folks uh, were eating like But I tell you, the old pastor, he kept on preaching to the bones. He kept on telling the bones, uh, we can do it. Uh, all things are possible through my God. Uh, my God came uh, out of Nazareth, uh, came out of the hood. He was 
got bad knees, hip, 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 jumping up. Tell somebody that's gotta be all about God. That's right. You can't think that that's gotta be all about God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I congratulate you, Resurrection. We at Greater St. Mary, we love you and love your pastor. Amen. You have one of the most capable, able first ladies.
awesome. Uh, Sister Sharon Lee, could you come up and present the gifts, please?
So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him back, let him say some words and give a benediction. But again, uh, Bishop, I appreciate you coming today. And uh, we so and somebody said we look forward to you coming when you come. Amen. And I know Deacon Buckingham loves to hear you preach too. Amen. And so we are excited and thankful that you came. Man, you sound good as always, man. 